us worship God and bow low before the God who made us. For he is the Lord our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job spoke, saying, Is not man's life on earth a drudgery? Are not his days those of hirelings? He is a slave who longs for the shade, a hireling who awaits for his wages. So I have been assigned months of misery, and troubled nights have been allotted to me. If in bed I say, When shall I arise? Then the night drags on. I am filled with restlessness until the dawn. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle. They come to an end without hope. Remember that my life is like the wind. I shall not see happiness again. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing praise to our God, for he is gracious. It is fitting to praise him. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. The dispersed of Israel he gathers. Praise the Lord, who heals the brokenhearted. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He tells the number of the stars. He calls each by name. Praise the Lord, who heals the brokenhearted. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. To his wisdom there is no limit. The Lord sustains the lowly. The wicked he casts to the ground. Praise the Lord, who heals the brokenhearted. 
The second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense, but if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? That when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many as possible. To the weak I became weak, to win over the weak. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share in it. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ took away our infirmities and bore our diseases. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him and on finding him said, everyone is looking for you. He told them, let us go on to the nearby villages that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. My friends, uh, today's readings, especially that first reading, challenge us to avoid Job's pessimistic and desperate view of life as a chain of pain and sufferings, and to accept life with hope and optimism as a precious gift from God, using it to do good for others and spending our time, talents, and lives for others, just as Jesus did and as St. Paul did as he spent himself for the gospel. To illustrate how precious the gift of life is, even in challenging times, let me share with you a following story I came across about a famous speaker and a $20 bill. A well-known speaker started off his seminar by holding up a crisp new $20 bill. There were 200 people in the room. The speaker asked them, how many of you would like to have this $20 bill? Hands went up all over the room. Then the, then the speaker said, I'm going to give this $20 bill to one of you, but first, let me do this. He proceeded to crumple the $20 bill up, and then he held it up and said, who wants it now? Hands went up everywhere. Well, he replied, what if I do this? He dropped it on the ground and stepped on it and started to grind it onto the floor with his shoe. He picked it up and he held it up for all to see. It was crumpled and smudged and dirty. And he said, who wants it now? Still, hands went up all over the place. 
Then the speaker said, My friends, you have just learned a very valuable lesson. No matter what I did to the money, you still wanted it because it did not decrease in value. No matter how smudged and rumpled it became, it was still worth $20. Many times in our lives, we get knocked around, dropped, crumpled, smudged, and ground into the dirt, whether by the decisions we make or just the circumstances that come our way. And sometimes we might be tempted to feel as though we are worthless and used up and of no account. But no matter what has happened or what will happen, none of us will ever lose value in God's eyes, for we are his beloved sons and daughters. So if you feel spiritually sick this day, or if you have a fevered soul right now, remember the doctor he is in. It is Jesus Christ, the divine physician. And just as his love healed Simon's mother-in-law, even so his love can bring each and every single one of us healing, redemption, and salvation. And the Lord Jesus always gives exactly what we need, what he knows that we need. So let us never grow weary then of bringing our troubles to Jesus. And our response to Jesus' healing love, it must be gratitude. The same gratitude that led Simon Peter's healed mother-in-law to serve. And so when we have experiences of Jesus' healing love, that will lead us to want to serve, to help others, and to share that love to everyone that we meet. O Lord, give us then your healing grace today and make us grateful servants, servant instruments of your healing will for all those that you place in our lives. And let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Formed now by God's holy word, let us turn to him in faithful prayer. That the church may be continually healed in its human weakness, division, and sinfulness by and through the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. The world may be raised up beyond violence, pride, and hatred, we pray to the Lord. That those who are looking for the Lord Jesus may find him, we pray to the Lord that we may partner with fellow Catholics to serve Christ's, to share Christ's love with neighbors in need through ministries that serve the poor, support life, and strengthen the faith through the Catholic Services Appeal, we pray to the Lord. For all men and women preparing for the priesthood or consecrated life, 
that their days of formation be filled with joy, peace, and the certainty of God's love. We pray to the Lord. For those who are ill, especially Brady Swenson, Andrea Diotis, Tom Ambrose, Bonnie Dargis, Mary Jo Faustian, Medard Kaiserschott, Cody Binstock, Carol Borman, Shelley Stewart, Bob Barton, Delia Roca, and Ray Swadner. We pray to the Lord. And for the repose of the souls of John, Richard, and Randy Fields, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Incline your merciful ear to our prayers, we ask, O Lord, and listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you through Christ our Lord. Make my steps steadfast in your paths, and that my feet may not falter. Incline your ear to my, and hear my words. Show forth your wonderful mercies, Lord, you who save those who trust in you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that they may become for us now the sacraments of eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, 
You give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paul Miki and his companions, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And may the mingling of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ 
bring eternal life to us who receive it. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, his wonders for the children of men. For he satisfies the thirsty soul, and the hungry he fills with good things. Let us pray. O God, you have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice. Grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. So, so thank you to all of you who donated to the January Corporal Work of Mercy, our annual collection of socks given to Sharing and Caring Hands, Donations totaled 1,200 pairs of socks. Thank you also to all those who placed Heggie's Pizza Orders in support of the Youth Ministry Program. Orders can be picked up on Wednesday, February the 10th from 4.30 to 8.30 p.m. at door number 8, located off of the West Broadway parking lot. Just a note, I'll be on retreat this coming week, um, so I won't be back until uh, next Saturday. I'll leave uh, tomorrow afternoon. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.